Hi everyone, happy Monday. Um, a video to help you navigate the second week of class. Uh, so today, tonight, tomorrow morning really starts our second week. Um, always keep in mind that this syllabus and the schedule, you really need to um, keep track of where we are because things move so quickly um, in the summer session. So, um, just a reminder on the syllabus slash schedule, um, this is about where we are here, right? So, your discussions for Mod 1 and all of your work, the study guides and the discussions are due tonight at midnight. Um, the quizzes are optional, those are due on the 17th, so at midterm, but just keep in mind because there will be a lot. This week we have two chapters to cover, Biology and States of Consciousness. Um, for my on-campus class, we're only meeting on Thursday this week, so most of your work is going to be online, and there's, you know, the there's quite a bit, and, and the semester is only going to progress like this. So please take um, the time that you have now to work on what's due in these next coming days. So you should be finishing up with the study guide and um, the discussions for the first week. So this study plan... Again, the quiz, I highly suggest that you take it at least once and see how you do. You can always take it again, and again, I will reset it for you if you'd like to take it more than twice um, to improve your grade. That's fine with me, but just remember, you need to give yourself time to do these. So really, I strongly suggest that you try the quizzes at least once. You should do your discussions, part one and part two. Um, I've had a lot of questions about the discussion, and that's great. I'm, I'm happy to take discuss or questions on that. Um, so remember, part one and two, which are due very early in the week, should be these two sections. Things you want to know about the topic, or I'm sorry, things you already know about the topic and things you want to know about the topic. Um, so... Ideally, you're moving on to week two right now, and so you're really thinking more week two. Week one should really almost be finished up. Week two, again, we have two chapters. There's a lot to talk about. States of consciousness and biopsychology. I have left for you two sets of PowerPoint notes with my abbreviated kind of notes on the chapter. You have to do the study plan for both. So, you know, take a brief look at this, look over it, and, and start filling out that center column of what you already know, if you know anything about how the brain works, how it might affect psychology, and states of consciousness is generally sleep and drugs is usually what I tell students. We talk a little bit about hypnosis and things like that, but it's all about how we can alter our consciousness through sleep and dreaming and, and hypnosis and meditation and even exercise. Um, but also we spend a lot of time talking about substances and their effects on our states of consciousness. So anything you know about those topics, start putting those in part one of week two's discussion. Okay, so week two, part one, those are due on Wednesday. All right, so for my in-class group, when we come into class on Thursday, I expect that you will have stuff to talk about that you already know or that you want to know about these chapters. And then uh, for the online group as well, after you do part one, you start moving into part two where we really try to talk about these topics and what do you find interesting and what can you learn and what can you bring from the class at the end of the semester, um, that kind of thing, okay? So keep the questions coming. I'm not seeing students using the raise your hand section a lot. Um, I see a few questions there now, and I'll go in and answer those. Um, or I will send you an email if you have a specific question. So yeah, keep up the good work. I see everybody starting to post, and that's fantastic. Um, and I will let you all get to work. And I will see you or see you online shortly. Have a very safe and 
happy holiday tomorrow. Um, and I hope everybody gets a little time for rest and relaxation.